Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. And it's lovely to be joining this meeting in Annecy. Um, greetings to everybody in Annecy. It's lovely to see you all there. Uh, lovely to see a meeting taking place. But greetings also to all the people who are joining, like me, sitting in a room in different places around the world. Um, and I hope you have a um, we have a nice cup of coffee beside you and you're making yourself comfortable and looking forward to the next two days. And I wanted to begin by um, just saying a huge thank you to Foundation um, and Merio for hosting this um, and doing it so well. And also um, particularly impressed by the way that you have created this uh, conducive environment for a, um, a hybrid meeting, which I think is going to be more and more what everyone around the world will be doing. So um, thank you for your leadership in that area and for your commitment to WASH uh, as a key uh, long-term sustainable solution for, for the problem of cholera. Um, I was here in, in Annecy uh, in 2017 when the um, global roadmap was first launched. So it's really, um, it's really nice to be re-engaging with the process. Uh, and to see that progress has been made. Many national plans uh, on cholera are in place now um, with WASH at their center. Um, and whilst we know that progress on SDG6 is slow and finance, as has already been mentioned, is, is a very big uh, problem in this area, cholera does provide a laser-like focus on where investment in WASH is most needed because we all know that the correlation between cholera and extreme poverty and the absence of WASH, it's all the same parts of the world that we are talking about. Um, from WaterAid's perspective, we have continued to engage uh, very closely with the, the WASH working group. Um, and um, as you all know, uh, this meeting um, and this process is currently chaired by my colleague, uh, Dr. Narella Awal, who will, um, I think is in the room now. And um, uh, we have championed uh, the, the use of WASH as a preventative uh, mechanism. Um, provided, you have to provide sustainable WASH to achieve that. Uh, so that's what we aim to do. And I would say that uh, particularly in Zambia and Nigeria, uh, in water rates, uh, countries of operation, uh, we have really focused on, on to being getting really serious about cholera. Um, but there are aspects of this happening in many of the countries in which water aid is operating around the world. Um, I wanted to just speak very briefly, more generally, uh, that water aid has very recently launched a new 10-year strategy. I don't know, some of you may have seen this. Um, and um, it continues to be focused on providing sustainable wash for all, focused on the most marginalized and builds on our four decades of experience in this area as the largest not-for-profit uh, wash actor in the world. Um, we continue to focus on taking a systems strengthening approach. And we set out in the strategy four aims, and one of them is about health. Uh, and it is in this area that this work for us would fit. And um, I can think of no better illustration within health of the disease of cholera that illustrates so, so, so perfectly the relevance of WASH uh, to the wider health agenda. So you'll be hearing from WaterAid quite a lot. Um, your chair, as I mentioned, um, my colleague Nash, I think is speaking later today, as also is Megan Wilson-Jones. Um, so that leaves me to just end by saying formally, I think it is my role, my honor to formally open this hybrid meeting of the Global Task Force uh, on Cholera Control, for the, the WASH group looking at that at cholera. And I wish you all a wonderful two days. And thank you very much indeed. <laughs>